supposing that every time you open your browser to go on the internet, a page pops up that you don't want. It's not something you're interested in, or it's something that you'd really not like to see. Well, you can change it, and I'll show you how. Let's say that you go to open your browser, and your favorite browser is Firefox. And when Firefox opens, it shows you the weather report in Petropavlovsk, Russia. It's not a very appealing place, and you're not interested in that. So what can you do about it? Let's say that when you go to your computer in the morning and turn on the Internet, what you'd like to do is check your email, check the stock market, and maybe look at some real estate information. So what do you do? You put up a new tab. You go to your email program. You put up another new tab, and you go to Yahoo Finance, and you put up another new tab, and you go to Zillow, which is a website that lets you put in any address you want and see the current value of that property. Then you take out, delete the tab, that is the unwanted one. And then you set these three as your home page combination. To do that, you go to tools, uh, tools, options, and you click use current pages in the general tab. And after you click use current pages, and then click OK, you can then close Firefox. And when you open it again, you will see those three websites that you want. Your email, Yahoo Finance, and Zillow. When this is shown at the Seniors Computer Group on a Saturday, I am going to stop here. But for those that don't use Firefox, those that use either Internet Explorer or Chrome, I will continue recording this uh, mini seminar session so that you can see exactly how to do the same thing in those two browser programs. Now, let's look at Internet Explorer and see how we do the, can do the same thing there. If we start in Internet Explorer on this computer, it comes up with one home page, MSN. Supposing instead of that, what I want to do is put up the Seniors Computer Group page, put up uh, Yahoo Finance again to see what the stock market is doing, and put up my, uh, my email program. So how do we do it? Pretty much the same way as we did in Firefox. You, uh, you can go to Favorites, if you have your Favorites there, and put up the, uh, uh, you can put up the Seniors Computer Group right here. You can put up another tab and bring up Yahoo Finance, whoops, it slipped. Here we are, Yahoo Finance. And you can put up another tab and bring up AOL Mail. Now you can, you can delete the MSN.com that was the, uh, was the home page. And when you go to Internet Options, and click Use Current with the current ones up there, Seniors Computer Group, Yahoo Finance, and AOL. You click Use Current, 
it puts these three things as your home page. You click Apply and OK. And then when you close Internet Explorer and open it again, it will open those three websites. Now let's do the same thing for Chrome. If I open Chrome in this computer, Chrome is set to open with one particular place. And not surprisingly, it's the Google search place. Well, that's a good thing to have as an opening place on Chrome, but supposing you once again have some other interests and you want to open them up at the same time. You put up a new tab and you go to your website for email and then you open another new tab and you go to your place for the stock market and then you open another new tab and you go to your place for the seniors computer group and now you want to get all four of these as your opening situation when you start Chrome. Well, you notice there's no file, tools, etc. in Chrome. Over here, you have to go to the menu here, over in the right, and click Settings. When Settings come up, you can check this box that says Open a specific page or set of pages. You can set, click here. It says set the pages and you can then click use current pages which lists them all including the original uh, Chrome new tab page and when you click OK those are now set as your starting place for Chrome and if I now close Chrome and start it again I will get what I just set it to get. That's it. That's how you set all of the uh, browsers that I know about to bring up when you open them, when you open your favorite, to bring up your favorite websites.